And so for many years, we've been doing research to control quantum bits and to program quantum bits. And at some point, we thought, you know, we should really bring this to the world. Somebody anywhere in the world using a web browser can ultimately program the quantum computer and run it. That to me is amazing. The name Quantum Inspire actually reflects what we want to do. We want to inspire people to work with quantum computers and to actually get very excited about quantum computing. On the one hand, we want to use it as a showcase of technology. On the other hand, we want to use it as a platform that helps develop new applications. I think every time you, you have a project at which end you have to deliver something which will be maintainable and robust, you need to deliver a certain quality. And that can happen only if you have really good planning, people management, and if you have good stakeholder management. Today we're having the first tryout of our two uh, spin qubit system. Actually, the worst thing that can happen to us is that we blow up the chip. It's a stress test, so we're actually putting uh, some limits on the system. Today was a very important test. It was the very first time that the system was tested all in one. For me, what's exciting is everything else that has also come together before, from the people who make the chips to the people who wire the fridges. The most rewarding part is seeing everything working together. Hitting a button, knowing everything that's going on the back end. It's what we've been working for for a long time now. There's a lot of debugging to do, a lot of features to add. I'm aware we have a lot of work to do. I'm optimistic we'll get there. We're now in the midst of the corona crisis, and so all of us were calling in from different locations. And of course, it's quite fitting that the Quantum Inspire platform is also meant to be exactly that. We're giving online access, but then to real quantum bits. So we know how normal computers change the world. We see the potential of quantum computers. So it, it also makes you realize that you are maybe working on something that has an enormous impact on the future. It's exciting, it's also uncertain, you know, what are the reactions going to be, and I am curious to hearing the response of the community.